According to the Pan American Health Organization, recently, Latin America and the Caribbean have reported over 9 million cases of dengue for the year so far, more than double the number of cases reported in all of 2023. Here at home, there have been over 100 confirmed cases, with hundreds more suspected cases and at least two confirmed deaths related to the dengue virus. Pahu says while the region has been able to see a low fatality rate, about 0.05% or 4,500 so far in 2024, it points to the importance of countries sustaining surveillance, strengthening prevention and control measures, and ensuring timely medical care. Member of Parliament for Faisabad, Dr. Lakram Bodo, says these are areas currently lacking in Trinidad and Tobago. And it would appear that the Insect Vector Control Division of the Ministry of Health, which is responsible for um, the eradication of the Aedes aegypti mosquito and other preventative measures and so on, has fallen down in the job. He says in some areas, the absence of vehicles for teams to move around communities is hindering the department's ability to respond appropriately. I am told that the lack of a vehicle is the main problem um, for the Insect Vector Control Division to do its work in the um, borough of Sipari, especially within the constituency of Faisabad. And I want to call upon the Minister of Health to ensure that the resources are provided you know, um, in a very expeditious manner. If it is that a vehicle is required, I see no reason why a vehicle cannot be subcontracted uh, contracted in the short term to deal with this um, because the cases are increasing on a daily basis. MP Bodo, who is also a medical practitioner, called on the Minister of Health to quickly roll out a strong public health program, especially in rural communities, to inform and educate people on how to clean up their surroundings, symptoms to look for, and home care. Source reduction is vital. Ensuring tires, containers, plant pot sources are all cleared away so that the virus's main vector, the Aedes aegypti mosquito, has no room to breed. Dr. Bodo advises that common symptoms to look for are high fever, headaches, pain behind the eyes, muscle and joint pain, nausea, vomiting and a rash. And while he says the virus normally presents mild, it can be fatal. There is a condition called dengue hemorrhagic fever where you have severe symptoms and it is in this situation that you need to seek medical attention urgently because this can be life-threatening. And those symptoms can include severe abdominal pain where you have persistent vomiting. Um, if you have the person who is breathing rapidly, breathing very quickly, if you have bleeding gums or nose, if you have extreme fatigue and so on, and if you see any sign of blood um, in your vomit or in your stool. Dr. Bodo says if someone has any viral symptoms and they suspect it could be dengue, they are advised to avoid using certain over-the-counter medication like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs as they can increase the risk of bleeding. Cindy Ragubatika Singh, TV6 News.